Jay Z exposed the leaked audio of P. Diddy and his conversation that's going to incriminate him and basically get the justice for all the victims that were involved because the people that's up higher, like Jay Z. He don't want to go down for none of Diddy's mistakes, man. And so this is why they're getting pretty much rid of him and everything. Like, they're basically making it to where Diddy can't tell on no other people. So they're leaking everything that they got on him to make sure that Cassie gets the justice, Tupac gets the justice. If you guys are supporting all of the victims, I want you to comment right now. Justice for Cassie. Put in what you think about Diddy and everything. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Pretty much what they're saying is the fact that Diddy got recorded in private messages talking about what he was doing, his whole plans and all of his deepest, darkest secrets. And so just like how a lot of people get footage and get dirt on people, Jay-Z got the leaked audio of Diddy going crazy, talking crazy about all sorts of stuff, confessing to what he did to Cassie, confessing to what he did to all of the victims that are alleging the accusations against him. And so basically now it looks like Diddy is in hot water. He's definitely in trouble and he's not going to be able to sneak his way out of this one because it looks like the feds have this info Jay-Z is basically making it to where he doesn't get caught for any of the stuff because the one person that knows the most about what all of these people are doing is Diddy he's the guy the ringleader of this whole thing that's why they're targeting him that's why they're taking him down and everybody that's got anything on Diddy they're speaking out now because they're going to forever have to hold their peace afterwards and so the whole entire entire industry the whole entire everybody including Beyonce and Jay-Z they know what Diddy has like they know what they got on Diddy and they quickly went to leak it and expose it so that nothing comes back on them they want to make sure that Diddy he gets a lot of time and everything for all his wrongdoings to all of those victims man it should be justice for Cassie Kim Porter and Tupac including Biggie Smalls and Craig Mack at the end of the day people have to realize that Diddy he's his karma is coming back on him man everything that he did he thought he was able to wash his hands clean from all of those dirty deeds but now he's caught red-handed and it looks like everybody that he thought was supposed to cover him and have his back they all turning against him now because they know that he's in a position to tell on the rest of them and they're not going to let him get the chance to do that they're trying to make it so that they put him away forever and for good and so this is why nobody feels sorry for P. Diddy because he should have never did these things to Cassie and all of the 10 other people that came out and spoke out and if it wasn't for Cassie and Keefe D and everybody that got the ball rolling on this whole entire Diddy thing and when the feds started to really look at him especially after we found out the news about the Tupac situation and how Diddy put the million dollars on his head and so once once we heard about that we knew that he had something to do with Kim Porter we knew he had something to do with Cassie and the rest of the other crew of the people that basically got done dirty by Diddy Diddy he was wrong for all of that stuff and this is why everything is coming back on him the karma from all of those situations it catches up to him and it catches up to a lot of people that did the same thing man and this is why people were saying stay away from the parties don't go hang out with them it's sometimes it's too good to be true you have to realize that he puffy diddy whatever he calls himself he wanted the power to control the money and everything like that he was trying to be the number one person in the whole entire game and he would do whatever he had to do to step on people's necks to get to the position that he wanted to get to and that includes what he did to Cassie, Tupac, Kim Porter and everybody else man we should not be surprised by this because the greed, the jealousy, the envy, it, the money is the root of all evil and this is why P. Diddy ended up doing all the things that he did man and so this is sad because now he has to look at the raids, the sons, everybody that's being questioned that's around Diddy now they feel like they should have never been around him that long so they don't get tied in to this whole entire case because it's looked like a whole train wreck it looked like a whole mess right now that Diddy got himself into it's a hole that he dug himself in that he's not able to get out no dancing in the videos no popularity and doing all the talking is going to be able to get him out of this situation because it's already put out there the feds are getting the ball rolling the indictments are about to come 
They're watching him. The investigation is going on right now. They got the dude from his Miami private jet that was the mule to this whole entire operation. They got Diddy on way bigger things. This is why once Cassie and Keefe D spoke out and opened their mouth and said what was out there about what Diddy did to them and what he did to Tupac. This was the last straw, and so everybody's seen it coming. The DA and all of them, they pretty much put the all everything and signed off on the raids happening to Diddy. Now they're finding the footage. Now they're finding out all the key pieces of evidence that it was being hidden from all of these years. The NDAs were signed by all them people that they couldn't talk about. It was the footage. They couldn't talk about none of that. And so now that the NDAs expired and the feds got the raids and everybody signed off on it they're getting the tapes one by one and now everybody that had their own tapes they're buying them 50 cents buying the tapes back from tmz jay-z bought the tape he's buying the audio and leaking it so that diddy don't even get a chance to tell on him he's trying to get they trying to get diddy put away asap so he don't tell on none of the other people and this is what you have to look closely at because Everybody that was a part of Diddy, he had friends. He wasn't a lone wolf. He has friends that's doing the same exact thing, and they got their own secrets. They got everything that they're hiding, too, and they don't want none of the stuff to come out. They don't want to get pushed into the same corner that Diddy's in because it's a long way from where they're comfortable. It's a long way from home. And Jay-Z, Beyonce, they don't want to do none of the time. This is why they're pinning everything on Diddy. Diddy did what he did, and the karma is coming from him for him regardless from all of the people that he screwed over. But now, they're like, okay, if we can make it to where if they're taking down Diddy anyways, let's add this and throw this on it so that that way he'll never be able to come out and no one will believe him if he ever says Jay-Z did this, Beyonce did that. They won't believe him because he already had his reputation ruined and his name stomped on, thrown through the dirt and everything like that. And like I said, nobody feels bad for Diddy because he basically got caught. He got caught. He was trying to hide this for 30 years. He tried to pay a lot of people to never talk about it. He made people sign the agreements to know, so that they never are able to come forward with their story and the, the experiences that they had the issues on um, what happened to them that one night that rainy night in Diddy's closet and all of these different stories that we've been hearing from countless different producers singers rappers people that got signed to Diddy people that was part of bad boys people that were behind the scenes managers bodyguards security guards everybody is telling their story it looked like everybody seen Diddy do what he did and Diddy didn't hide a lot of the stuff matter of fact he had the secret cameras in every single room of all of his mansions and whenever them parties and freak offs happen he caught all of them and this is why he has the whole collection of tapes with all the people on all the famous people everybody with the big name he's got the tape with them and that's why they're trying to get that now so that basically they could get Diddy put away and get the tapes and burn them all and delete them all so that nobody else has to go down with Diddy they, the plan was is that they was going to get him, but he was going to try to take everybody else down with him. This is something that we see happen. So let me know what y'all think about this whole situation and basically subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share this video.